So first thing I said, I told God, I said, when I give me some money, I'm going to buy me a piece of land. Because I just want a piece of land where can't nobody run me off. I, I just want something I can stand on. This, this here piece belonged to me. So this is how I did it. I was reading something one day and I said, man, how much land is on earth? So I looked it up. It's a little over 36 billion acres of land on earth. At the time, it was between five and six billion people on earth. It's a little over eight billion now. So I did a little, little hood math. I said to myself, if it's 36 billion acres of land and it's six billion people, just to me, everybody ought to have six acres of land. It was a scripture my mom used to tell me about all the time. She'd say, you have not cause you ask not. So guess what I started asking for? Six acres of land. Just wanted six. So I messed around and got my first piece of money. I got me a check for about 115000 So first thing I did, went to Dallas, Texas, said, I'm going to buy me some land. I found a piece of land I thought it was perfect. Had a fishing lake at the end of it because I love to fish. I said, man, this piece I'm going to buy right here. Let me talk to somebody. I was with a real estate agent. I said, how much is this? He said, it's 250000 I can't afford this. I said, I got about 115. He said, I don't think you're going to be able to get it for that, but I'll make a call. So he called the guy. The guy said he would take 115 now and I could pay him the rest later. And before I did it, I said, hey man, let me ask you something. How much land is that? He said, oh, that's six acres. It was six acres. I got ready to sign it up. The real estate agent said, Mr. Harvey, before you sign that, I want you to think about it. I want to show you something else. So he took me over to this dude's house. I never met this guy. He came outside. He's a hillbilly. He's just country. You know, I was a little nervous. Me and hillbillies don't really, we don't, we don't normally work that good together. His name was uh, Jerry Campbell. Uh, turned out to be one of the nicest men I ever met. I misjudged the man. He talked to me, he said, I want to show you something. And I go over there and I couldn't believe it, man. It had rolling hills on it. It had four lakes on it, fishing ponds. I said, man, look at this right here. How many acres is this, man? He said, 16 acres. I said, man, I can't afford nothing like that. He said, well, hold on, I'm in a tide right now. How much you got? I said, well, I was gonna do this other piece of land. I got 115, I'm gonna pay now. And if you give me a year to pay out the rest of it, I, I could buy it from you like that. He said, tomorrow morning, if you bring me a $115,000 check, I'm gonna give you this land. So I got the 16 acres of land the next day. So I said, wow, that's how it worked. You have not cause you ask not. I asked for six. Soon as I was gonna buy the six, he put some grace on it. Next thing you know, I got 16 for the same money. So I got to thinking. Some land opened up next to it. I bought 18 more acres. I bought it. So I went back up to Cleveland. I was hanging out one day. My boys was on the corner. I told him, I said, look man, I can't, can't hang out on corners no more. I'm trying to get my TV career started. Oh, you done changed, man. This what's happening. So now you done got this little money. You done forgot where you from. I said, okay, hey, Lord, can I have A6 too? <laughs> so I see right now. Yeah, I see what's happening right there. They ain't finna go nowhere. So I kept asking for everybody I thought wasn't gonna ask for they six. I asked for they six. I ended up owning almost 300 acres of land in Denton County, Texas. But I just kept on, man. Just kept on with it. I just kept the faith. I kept believing. I kept asking him. I kept wanting. God got great life for you, man. But you're going to have to ask for it. And when you ask for it, you're going to have to believe it. 
After you believe it, you got to put your work in. 